Hi, this is Reverend Cindy Fuller at InterQuest Church, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you about something that I've been dealing with, and maybe you have too. During this time when we're all healing and trying to purify our consciousness, I have really been focusing on forgiving, and I've been talking about forgiving in, in some of the services, that, this is, that we really can't move to unconditional love until we forgive any attachments that we have to people, places, or things that are, still have a, a, a bit of a rough spot for us. And I've been working on that consciously for quite a while, just trying to let everything go and live in the flow. But you know, for me, and maybe for you too, sometimes we realize that we have said or done something completely innocently, completely good intentioned, that has been perceived by someone else as negative or whatever, controlling, manipulative, when it wasn't intended that way at all. And then you find yourself in a space of, oh, well, what do I do about that? And for me, coming into a, confronting someone that's really not in my field every day, or speaking uh, to someone to defend my position, they can't hear me. If someone misunderstood my intentions or my words or my actions, and they're, that's their perception, then me telling them my perception normally doesn't change theirs. They still think I'm trying to defend my position, therefore I must be guilty. And it puts us in a situation of kind of being caught. So when I was meditating the other day, because I always try to heal this, I love everybody, and, and certainly if I've said something to you out of love in my heart, I care about you. So um, I was meditating and just asking God to help clear up some of these misunderstandings. And I was taken to a beautiful place, and it's called God's Healing Temple. It's a beautiful place. And I went there, and God said, if anyone does not understand you, I want you to invite them into this temple, and they will see truth. They will not hear your words. They will not hear your explanation. They will simply see the truth of what happened and the truth of all of the details. And when they see truth, they will understand. And I was like, oh, that's so marvelous and wonderful. So I invited people that have in the past not understood me or thought less than of me to go into the temple, not so that I would be vindicated or that I would be understood at all, but so that they could see truth. And then they could move through their world in love and peace, and I can move through my world in love and peace, and then love and peace exist between us. It was just such a great uh, idea and a great space of healing. And I did it. It was fabulous, and now I, every time I have a misunderstanding with anyone from Patrick to someone I barely know their name out in the world, states away. They're going to the healing temple, God's healing temple. So you guys try it. See if it works. See if it doesn't ease some of the energy around you and really let you begin to move into a space of unconditional love. For if I am walking in love and I do not mean ill, only good should leave me, and only good should come to me. And that is what I want to create. So yay, God, if you like these little things, just hit like and leave me a comment. Yay, God.